Hello, my curlies and coilies. Um, last night, well, recently, I um, flattered my hair, as you can see. Um, this is what it's looking like. Um, and last night, as I was going to just jump into, I was at church. There's a lot of uh, people of color there that bring. It was hot in there. It was very hot. And <clears throat> my hair just started to revert. And I was like, who did? I felt like freaking Cinderella. Like, the clock start, strike 12 and I was like, oh, my hair is freaking and going back. I got the first effects of my hair drawn up. And then when I came home, after going to my family's house, because after I, I left church halfway through, and I went to my family's house and we were all doing the wallow and some of the line dances and all that kind of stuff that black people do when they get together, that thing there. Um, <laughs> And my hair just really started to like revert. It was it was pretty fun. But anyways, I saved it when I got home. Um, by wrapping it up. And then this morning, I was like, well, let me see. And my husband says I look like a China woman. And I was like, well, I'm not Chinese. I'm black and East. I'm sorry. <laughs> but anyways, um. I was like, well, how about if I do like something like this? And he was like, babe, you just need to go ahead and just wash your hair. And I was like, it's still kind of straight. So I felt the back, the back is rising. Like rise of the planet of the apes. That's why I haven't took it back there for y'all to see it. <clears throat> Cause it's not flat anymore. It's um, the roots are rising. So what I'm gonna do today is uh, wash my hair. And you guys, you know I do this first time thing with you guys. So if my hair does not revert all the way and I have heat damage, you're going to see it. And it's going to really suck that, you know, I had great hair for one year and now I have heat damage and have to cut some out. And it's really going to suck. Thank God I didn't go to the Dominican. Mm. But, uh, so, let me see. So, I washed my hair. It is back to its coily glory. I'm so happy it came back. Oh, I was so nervous. I, when I first put the water in my hair, I was like, oh, oh, oh. It's all still straight. But after a few, like, working it and all that kind of stuff, when I did, you know, my shampoo um, and conditioner, then it, it started to revert back. And I was happy again. I was like, I'm back, Navi. I'm in the Navi. <laughs> My kinky curly, not today. I don't know if you can see that. I'm gonna put this in my hair along with the kinky curly custard to see if it'll work. Now, if y'all check back in one of my old videos and I tried to put the kinky curly and the not today in my hair, and it was like, not today, and we won't be kinky curly. And I was like, very sad. So we're gonna revisit the Kiki Curly now that I have some length and some coils. So um, I um, put all the Kiki Curly in my hair and they say use, um, you know, for thicker, um, coarse curls. I don't really know if mine is thicker curls or anything like that, um, but they said for, you, for that, use a generous amount and Boy, was I generous. <laughs> so, I, uh, I put it in, you know, my hair, and I noticed that um, the back of my hair has always been a looser uh, um, curl, but the, uh, the, um, uh, cleaving organ, we call it thing, oh, flat iron, might have, uh, loosened them up more. Um, maybe I could be a little sorry that he did it, I don't know. Uh, but we will see uh, how it acts um, after a few days. And um, I mean, if it don't act right, then uh, we'll just have to wait for it to grow out a little bit and you know, cut it off. I don't know. Um, but I don't know. I'm not really too worried about it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to now um, get the uh, we caught stuff. Kinky curly custard. 
Yeah, I'm gonna get that and put it in my hair. And then maybe back. Okay, so I put all of the Kinky Curly custard in my hair. This is what it's looking like. Um, Um, I, I mean, of course, I don't know how how much I'm gonna like it right now. It's still wet. It still has the knot today in it, and it has the kinky curly. So it's like doing three things right now. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do to speed up the process because usually people say it takes like a long time, or hours, or you know, a few days or years to dry. <laughs> years. Um, I'm going to. Sit up on a dryer, the very devil that I hate so much. I came from under the dryer, and this is what it's looking like. Mustard. Do I like you? It's not fully dry, um, but it pretty much is dry. I, I'm kind of confused as to is there a difference between this kinky curly custard and eco styler that I use on my hair. <laughs> it feels like straw. Um, <laughs> It's kind of hard, actually. Um, and some of it is a little breezy. I guess it's like the patches. I don't know if I put too much hair. You know, I don't know if it's the knot today. I don't know, but it's something. Um, Maybe I have to style it or something. I kind of do look like I have a jerry curl though. Don't you think? I don't know if I like this. I don't like how it feels in my hair or on my hand. I guess I got on the eco styler. I guess I'll say the jury is out on it because I mean I kind of like the look, but touching it, you know, my hands just it just feels some type of way, and I don't always want to have to wash my hands after I touch my hair because I play in my hair a lot. Um, and when I have the equal styler, you know, it dries and then it's done. Um, <clears throat> so, um, I don't know, I'm gonna say I probably won't try this again. Maybe not in this length, or maybe I'll try to see if I can find out if um, I use too much, maybe. I don't know. But that's what I feel about uh, Kiki Curly and my hair type. Um, and I hope that helps you and maybe you could try it out or maybe you'll just take my word for it. I don't know But there we go Bye